Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through this tutorial for all level mathematics. In this video, I shall talk about the topic of determinant of a matrix. So this video is suitable for students in both senior 3 and senior 4. So the determinant of a matrix A, which is a 2 by 2 matrix, which is A, B, C, D, is denoted by either this, so you can say D, A, so when you see this, just know they want, they mean determinant O, this, where in, with these two bars, these two bars mean magnitude, so matri magnitude of a matrix is what we call a determinant, so when you see that, it also means determinant O, when you see this, whereby they are written the very matrix, by this time, we think we realize that this, these are curved brackets, but now here these are straight lines. So when you see this, just know it means determinant of a matrix of A, B, C, D. So those are the three ways in which I, the word the determinant of a matrix can be expressed, and therefore can be calculated from the formula that determinant of a matrix is equal to product of entries in the major diagonal minus product of entries in the minor diagonal. So there's, there are these two terms, major diagonal and minor diagonal. So what are the entries in the minor diagonal and major diagonal? So if you look at this 2 by 2 matrix, the entries along that line are what we call the entries in the major diagonal and the entries along this line are what we call the entries in the minor diagonal. There are four the determinant of this matrix will be given by this so a times d to come up with a times d here minus the product of the entries in the minor diagonal which is c times b to come up with c times b here so a times d is a d and c times b is c b so basically that is the formula that is used to get determinant of a matrix so there is something to note here that if you capture the determinant of a matrix and you get the determinant as zero, that matrix will be given a special name and its name is called a singular matrix. So each time you get a matrix and they tell you that this matrix is a singular matrix, it implies that its determinant is equal to zero. So that knowledge shall go through these examples. So example one came from UNEB 2003, paper one question six and it says, if matrix A which is 2002 and matrix B which is 4, 8, 2, 6, find determinant of A, B. So that means that you have to multiply A with B, followed by B, after that you get its determinant. So you are coming and say that A, B is equal to, this is matrix A, this is matrix B, so we have to multiply the two. So when we multiply the two, we are going to come up with this. So remember we multiply row by column, therefore 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, which is this, then 0 times 2 is 0 which is that. Then again first row second column we shall get 2 times 6 8 which is 16 and 0 times 6 which is 0. Then again now second row first column we shall get 2 times 0 sorry 0 times 4 to come up with 0 then 2 times 2 to come up with 4. Then second row, second column, so it will be 0 times 8 to come up with 0, 2 times 6 to come up with 12. The next will be to simplify, so when I simplify I come up with 8, 16, 4, 12. Now that is the matrix AB, now we want to get its determinant, so we shall come here and say DIT AB is equal to 8 times 12 to come up with that minus. 4 times 16 to come up with that. So always remember that that is major diagonal first, then minus minor diagonal. So when I simplify this, I'll come up with 96. So this gives me 96 and this gives me 64. And when I subtract, I'll come up with 32. So basically, that's what they wanted. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So this M1 was for this matrix multiplication, another M1 for the output, so this would have been B1, here you put B1, then this M1 for, was for the substitution, and this A1 for the output. 
Now shall go to example 2 which came from UNEB 2010 paper 2 question 16b and says given matrix P which is 2 negative 1 3 negative 2 matrix 2 which is 1 5 2 negative 3 and matrix R which is 4 3 1 negative 2 find Roman 1 2 R minus P then Roman 2 determinant of 2 R minus P So here we know that the one you have to first get this matrix of 2R minus P. So we are going to substitute where there is 2, you put the matrix of 2R, we put the matrix of R, then minus P, we put matrix of P. So next will be first multiplying these two matrices, so row by column. So always remember that multiplying matrix, matrices is row by column. So 1 times 4 will give you this 4, and 5 times 1 will give you this 5. You have to add the 2. The next is first row, second column, so 1 times 3 will give you this 3, 5 times negative 2 will give you this negative 10. Then next will be row, second row, first column, so 2 times 4 will give you this 8, and negative 3 times 1 will give you this negative 3. Then sec second row, second column, 2 times 3 will give you this 6, and negative 3 times negative 2 will give you this positive 6. So that is that is by that we have multiplied now next is to simplify. So when I simplify I come up with nine negative seven five twelve then minus this matrix here. So when I subtract the two matrices, I'll come up with for example nine minus two will give you seven. Negative seven minus negative one will give you negative six. Five minus three will give you two. Twelve minus negative two will give you positive fourteen. So now that is but Roman 1 where they wanted matrix of 2R minus P. Now Roman 2 they want the determinant of 2R minus P. So you come here and say that DIT of 2R minus P will be equal to 7, minus, 7 times 14 which is this minus 2 times negative 6 which is that. So 7 times 14 will give you 98 and 2 times negative 6 will give you negative 12 two, but this negative will cancel with this negative to give you a positive here so that's why there is a positive here then when you add the 2 you'll come up with 110 one, so basically that's what they wanted now let's see how much can be awarded so this M1 also substituting the all the matrices so substituting for 2 for R and for correctly that is m1 then this m1 was for matrix multiplication both rows so there are two m's meaning that this first m1 was for the first row and this m1 was for the second row then this m1 was for subtraction so for you to subtract the two matrices that is m1 and for you to get the output it would have been a1 so here you put a1 not m1 it is a1 then this M1 was for this substitution in the formula for determinant and A1 was for the output which is 110. So now we shall go to example 3 which came from UNEB 1992 paper 2 question 14 and it says if the determinant of the matrix which is 3A, 8 minus A minus 8, negative 6, A minus 2 is 0 so I think you see that this de determinant is 0 meaning this is a singular matrix okay so if the determinant is 0 what are the values of A so they can ask this question in two ways they can say if the determinant is 0 or this matrix is 0 find the values of A or instead of saying that determinant is 0 they can say if this is a singular matrix find the values of A so those two words mean the same they can talk about singular matrix or they can talk about determinant being zero. So take note of that. So first of all, you have to know that A is that. So therefore, determinant of A will be equal to product of the values in the major diagonal. So 3A times A minus 2, that is product of the entries in the major diagonal. Then minus product of the entries in the minor diagonal, which is negative 6 times 8 minus A, which is that part. So next will be simplifying. So when I open brackets here, it will be 3a times a to give you 3a squared. Then also 3a times negative 2 to give you 
negative 6 here. Then minus. Now this minus and this negative will cancel to give you this positive here. So I remain with positive 6. So positive 6 times a will give you positive 6a. Then positive 6 times negative 8 will give you negative 48 which is that. So from there we have to simplify because this and this I think you realize that they can cancel so if you remain with 3a minus 48 being equal to 0. Then when I take 48 on the other side I'll come up with that and when I divide both sides by 3 I'll come up with a squared equal to 16 and when I put square root on both sides I'll come up with a being equal to plus or minus so not this word it has to be plus or minus 4. So those are the two values of a. And basically that's what they wanted. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So M104 was for this substitution into the formula for determinant. And this M1 was for simplifying. So it will be at this part. Then this M1 was for dividing by 3 to come up with this. And this A1 was for getting the square root to come up with that. The next number 4 came from UNEB 2015, paper 1, question 13a, and it says matrix A, which is this, and matrix B, which is that. So there are two matrices, then they said if A is equal to, if C is, matrix C is equal to A plus B, find the values of X for which the determinant of the matrix is C is 2. So the first thing to do is to get the value of matrix C, so shall come here and say we are given that matrix C is equal to matrix A plus matrix B, so shall come and substitute for A and for B, then we add the 2. When I add x plus 7 plus x minus 1, I'll come up with 2x plus 4. Also when I add x plus 0, I'll come up with x. And when I add 3 plus 2, I'll come up with 5. When I add 0 plus 2, I'll come up with 2. So that is now matrix C. But they told us the determinant of matrix C is 2. So what I'm going to do, I have to first get the determinant of matrix C. Now the determinant is equal to product of entries in the major diagonal, which will be 2 times x, 2x plus 6, which is that minus the product of entries in the minor diagonal which is that so 5 times x will give you that the next is to substitute remember i was told that the determinant of c is 2 so that means that this one is 2 that is why i put here 2 then when i simplify this 2 multiply through so 2 times this gives 4x then 2 times this gives 12 then this 5 times x gives 5x the next is to simplify. So when I simplify this and this gives me negative x which is that. Then this is 12 and this is 2. The next is to make x the subject. So when I make x the subject I'll come up with x being equal to 10. So basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 was for this substitution of the matrices and B1 was for the output. So to add and get the output. M1 was for this substitution in the formula for mark determinant. And another M1 for simplifying and A1 for the output. Now we shall go to example 5 which came from your neighbor 1993, paper 1, question 9. And it says, given that matrices, matrix A, which is that, which is 3xy4 and determinant of that matrix is 3x plus 12 determine the value of x and y so we are given matrix A so from this value we shall have to calculate this determinant so determinant is equal to product of entries in the major diagonal which is 3 times 4 which is that minus product of entries in the minor diagonal which is y times x which is that but remember we are told that the determinant is 3x plus 12. So when I simplify this, I'll come up with 12 minus yx. But that determinant value is equal to this. So I'll come and substitute that. So I know that the determinant of a is this. Therefore, I'll come and substitute and equate the two. Because the, this determinant, where there is this dict a, I'm going to put there this value to come up with this statement. So after that, I'll have to simplify. When I simplify, I realize that this 12 and this 12 cancel. So this side will remain with negative yx and this side will remain with 3x. 
Now from here the music students make is to cancel X. This X cannot cancel at this step. Always note that the best the appropriate formula is to factorize. So what we are going to do, take everything on one side. So when I take this one on the other side, I'll come up with zero being equal to three X plus Y X. Then from there I will factorize because X is common to come up with zero being equal to three plus y in brackets multiplied by x that means that either three plus y is zero or x is zero so she'll come up with that three plus y is equal to zero or x is zero therefore from this part i realize that y is equal to negative three and x is equal to zero so basically that's what they wanted now let's see how mass can be awarded So this M1 was for sub was for this substitution in the formula for determinant and this one was for equating and this one was for factorization and this one was for the values of X and Y. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the next video will be on inverse of a matrix. So if you are not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video on inverse of a matrix has been uploaded. Or otherwise, thank you for watching and be and also if you know of any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like facebook and whatsapp so that we can all benefit as a family